A hundred years ago, one of the last great cavalry charges helped change the course of the First World War, and it was led by a man from Norfolk. Gordon Flowerdew was awarded the Victoria Cross for his bravery. He was brought up in South Norfolk and went to live in Canada, which is where he joined the cavalry. Tomorrow, members of the Canadian cavalry will pay their own special tribute. This report from Sean Peel. Moray Wood in Picardy. Here, 100 years ago, the Canadian cavalry charged into German machine gun fire to stop them advancing to Amiens. The charge was led by Lieutenant Gordon Flowerdew. All right, bring them around in a circle. Nice large circle again. Tomorrow, the Royal Canadians will stage a symbolic recreation of the charge, and on Saturday they'll be given the freedom of the town. But how did a boy who grew up on a Norfolk farm end up leading a Canadian cavalry charge? Uh, this is Billingford Hall. They, were, they got here in about 1868. Gordon Flowerdew was born at Billingford near Dis in 1885, one of 15 children. He loved horses, and that comes out from the time when he's two or three, from comments that Ella, his eldest sister, made, where he wandered into the barn and was amongst the cart horses. Quite happy to go underneath them. He wasn't afraid of horses anyway. He just he was around horses, which we think reads across into his later life. He went to Framlingham College in Suffolk, and he's remembered in the chapel. And there are paintings of the charge, the most famous by another Fram student, Alfred Munnings. At 17, Flowerdew emigrated to Canada, worked on a ranch and then joined the cavalry. And this is where it happened a hundred years ago. There was Gordon Flowerdew leading his section of the Canadian cavalry by Moray Wood. He issued the order to go. It's a charge, boys. It's a charge, he said. And they did, right into a hail of machine gun fire pictures of the aftermath, those who survived and those who didn't. Gordon Flowerdew died the next day, but the Germans had retreated. One of his men who lived was Tom Mackay. Mackay's son Robert is in France for the anniversary. My dad was uh, right behind Flowerdew uh, when Flowerdew went down. Flowerdew was uh, very upset, uh, <coughs> suffering from his wounds, uh, but also uh, had tears streaming down his face at the carnage that had been wrought on his men. Tomorrow, the Royal Canadians will be back at Moray Wood to charge once more over that hillside in Picardy to remember the man from Norfolk who still inspires them today. Uh, machine gun fire, barrage of explosions, he held fast and got his men into the battle, which pushed and changed uh, the way the war went after that. A lot of the uh, soldiers have already mentioned that uh, it's hitting them pretty hard. And I think come Friday, it's going to be relevance of that for sure. He now rests at Nompaval in the British Cemetery here, half an hour away from where he led the last great mounted cavalry charge and one that changed the course of the First World War. Fantastic story, great film as well.